Hello, there we are. Excellent stuff. Sorry about the slight delay there. A bit of a, a problem with a caller on Skype. So it just lets me know not to take that. That, of course, will be reported to the appropriate authorities and that person will be brought uh, to account for that comment. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Anyway, there we go. It just shows you you have to just make sure that it's trusted people you've got for you on Skype. Excellent stuff. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, popping up to say dinky do to every single one of you. Charles McLaughlin, Kareem Zachariah, excellent to have you with us. And uh, we'll only take trusted Skype, of course. I thought that character could be trusted, but obviously not. John Gallagher, Neil O'Connor, welcome, 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 everybody. Dinky do. What I did was I just scrapped that broadcast completely, so that will never be heard of again. That's uh, been deleted. And of course, sincere apologies. So there you are. And uh, as I say, that person, we have all the details now. And uh, that will be reported to the appropriate authorities. And hopefully that person will uh, be suitably uh, chastised for that kind of irresponsible behavior on public media. Excellent stuff. Uh, will you do uh, any more Skype tonight? Yes, Kareem, of course we will. If you want to Skype, you'll be very welcome. Um, Richard McCusker's watching, Dinky Doo, Susan Forrest watching down in Lancashire. And you'll see tonight that we are broadcasting in um, landscape. Excellent stuff. So there you are. So a lot of work was done behind the scenes there, guys, getting the details of that person, and they will be brought to account for their actions. All right. I know you'd like that. Garnick McCusker and Peter Carney, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's one Bond dafty every minute. I know Michael Pond, but wait, what a fool. So there we are. Alistair King, the wonderful Alistair King, one of our top engineers. Welcome back, Scotty. Can you give a wee shout-out to my son, young Alistair? He's watching, and he's going to bed for school. Young Alistair, you get off to Bobo's now and be all slept and fresh and bright as a button for school in the morning. And... Um, Give your dad a big hug. Fanastic. Uh, Raymond Benson, dinky do. Uh, he was a totty, says Neil O'Gonley. Yes, he was Neil. Uh, but uh, we sorted that, so there you are. Uh, shame people spoil it for no reason. Brian, you will always get an idiot. But fortunately, we've got a good trace on that one. So there you are, not a problem. And they will receive a lifetime ban. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. I have all the details there. I shall just screenshot all that. And then we'll find out what is what. Wonderful. Right, there we go. Excellent stuff. Now then, um, this is what we said. We had a couple of uh, silly wee boys had um, sworn on the Skype. And what we had to do with them, of course, it ruins it for the world. They get 30 seconds of what they think's funny, not realizing that they're actually um, committing a very serious problem there. So there you are. Uh, but you'll always get the minority trying to spoil something good for the majority. What we will do, we'll get um, a small profanity device. We'll see if that's possible. And then we can just avoid all of that. All right. So there you are. Not a problem at all. Um, um, so wonderful stuff. People will always try to spoil things for no reason, but when they get the knock at the door, they'll realize that was just a very, very silly thing to do. Um, good recovery, Mr. McClure. Thank you, Douglas McPherson. We would like to think we're professional. <laughs> I remember a lovely, lovely story. I don't know if you know, but at the Edinburgh Fringe sometimes, if you go through, everybody wants to get their performance seen and heard. And some performances, to put it politely, are busier than others. There's a lovely story that at one of the venues this night, there was just two ladies, quite casually dressed, sitting down the front. And the guy went on, he, um, it was him and his brother were doing a show. And he said, ladies, I see there's just the two of you in tonight, but my brother and I are professionals, so we'll do the whole show. <laughs> And uh, one of the ladies piped up and said, well, could you just hurry up, please, because we're wanting to get the place cleaned. 
<laughs> is that not is that not gorgeous stuff? So there we are. Thank you, Douglas. Very, very good of you. Very much appreciated. Now, uh, we've got some things introduced to the show to make it better. Because have you ever heard the saying, Bairns and idiots should never see a job half done? They are. Bairns and idiots should never see a job half done. Right? That was an idiot that we had on there, of course. Now, uh, what we are doing on the YouTube channel, we'll bring up all this fabulous content. And the guy goes, oh, yes, it's not very busy, McLeod, blah, blah, blah. You see, all that sort of stuff. There we go. Hang on. I'm just uh, making sure that everything's deleted there. Lovely, lovely. That's gone. Um, and um, we've got new features tonight. Now I have the bell. Bridge to engine room, full of stern both. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. So we've got the bell there, and we can obviously tap the bell. Excellent stuff if you'd like that. Also, I'd like to play a little game of Who Am I? Right? Who am I? And you've got to ask me questions on there to see if we can establish who I am. Now, I could be anybody. I could be male, female, alive, dead, all sorts of things, all right? But you've got to work out who I am by asking me questions. So I thought we'd introduce a little bit of new content because we've been running for, is it four years now? And I didn't want people saying, ah, I love watching Scotty, but it gets a wee bit samey sometimes, the same people, all that kind of nonsense. So we need to build and build and build the broadcast. I'd also like you to go on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and sample some of the recent broadcasts, see what you think, subscribe, because we're just about up to 2,000 subscribers already. Subscribe and tap the bell. Then you'll get the notifications when we go live. It's just a quick pop-up, a bit the same as here. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Excellent. What are you all saying to me? Raymond Benson. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Raymond. Hi, Scotty. Says Brian Murphy. Wonderful Linda Ireland's there. Brian Keswick. Alistair King. You should see his wee face. He doesn't think it's real. <laughs> Come on, Junior. Off to Bobo's. Uh, Kareem Zachariah, Susan Forrest, and uh, oh, we've got lots of you watching tonight. Excellent stuff. Uh, Dinky Do, not seen you in a while, big guy, says the wonderful John Boyle. Thank you guys for putting up with all the stuff you get through for Scotty McClue as well. So there we go. And um, the guy that, uh, that uh, said that earlier tonight, We'll be getting a wee tap in the door. Why did you not end the stream, Scotty? I did, Cameron. The stream was ended right away, so it's gone. You'll not hear that again. All right. And uh, we started a new stream. Do you like that? Uh, Scotty, please tell my wife I'm not having a bit in the side. Um, so there we are. I just like being notified about your pop-ups, Charles. Nobody would ever think that of you. It's fantastic. I've got a friend that's been married for 21 years. And it doesn't remember breaking three mirrors. So there we go. Scott Grant, dinky do. Last order's bell, Scotty. What we all having? Come on. Uh, Scotty, you're a big legend, <laughs> says Paul Kelly. Well, Paul, we like to keep bumping up because it just means that the television and radio stations, they can get on with what they are doing. Because what I'm finding is people are watching Scotty McClure on the YouTube channel and on Facebook Live here, and they're using it instead of television and radio. Because the television and radio is so slick, so refined, desi you know, designed just to make as much money as possible um, out of you guys. And what I'd like to do is provide a little bit more of a service. You know, that sort of thing pop up, you know, I mean... I don't make money out of this. It doesn't matter. But I do a fair bit of broadcasting, you know, and it keeps up my television and radio technique. Fantastic. And last night we were on late at night on YouTube when the idiots weren't there. How fabulous was that? There we are. Alistair King, you know you were watching. Can we all have a share, please, guys? Can we share, 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 share? Fantastic, Albert. Wow, what a wonderful man. There's Albert popped up. 
I'm just saying hi. Guys, I'm multitasking. I hope you don't mind. Evening, Mr. McClure. This is Neil Mills, Jr. Mr. McClure, I have a friend running a similar podcast radio show in Bali, north of Australia. Possible mutual guests on each other's shows. Naturally, Jamie isn't quite the big name as your good self, says Douglas McPherson. Um, what have we got here? But he's starting out. Yes, excellent, Douglas. Of course, I'd be delighted, you know, if we can get a proper name so we know it's a, a trusted Skype call. And I spoke to the wonderful Gordon Roddick, who, as we know, um, has been with us for many, many years as a wonderful broadcaster on television and radio. And uh, Gordon spent uh, the bulk of his career at Scottish television. And I would quite like Gordon to Skype me at some point and tell us some of his stories. I think that would be just fantastic. So there we are. Now, questions for who am I? Scotty, see your squeezy box. Can you play heavy metal? I'm asking for a reason. So there we are. Um, Angus Young from ACDC is watching while he's on tour. On a link, please. <laughs> Michael Paul McVeigh, how fantastic. I think I know the answer to who am I? Says Gordon Stilling. No, you don't, Gordon Stilling. You rang, 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 rang. So there we are. <laughs> uh, love all the old YouTube stuff, plus the many tapes I have from the 90s of your radio show, says Brian Hall. Absolutely, Brian. What people are doing with the YouTube channel, which is um, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. So youtube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R, forward slash Scotty McClue one. And it's fabulous. I'd like you all to go on and subscribe and tap the bell. There's over 600 pieces of audio and video for your edification and delight. And I would love you all to get on there. Can we do some sharing, guys, if you don't mind? So there we are. That was a wee dog that was lost earlier that I've heard has been returned. Um, so there we go. Paul J. Curry. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Paul J. Curry. James Bauer. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. What a top man you are, by the way. Kev Hutchison's watching. Dinky do. Kev, lovely to have you with us. Um, right. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing. And if you can all do the same, that would just be out standing let people know that we're live now do you like the new landscape you'll see my eyes dancing about a bit we normally broadcast in in portrait which leaves big black bits at the side sort of like letterbox films remember you used to watch the movie and you had the big black bit at the top and bottom that uh, for those of you who are not film buffs is known as letterbox format so there you are oh we learn something every day don't we um hello sir long time since i've been on hope you're well says james bauer absolutely james that was a good peaceful show scotty no time for idiots last night was outstanding and uh, we talked a lot about cars on it alistair of course as you know and i was thinking for a title and just at the end i came up with uh, top clutch but I'm going to do a bit of work on that. That's maybe not the one. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, is this uh, night nine to one? No El Salvador. We'll just do our hour, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, because it's obviously very popular tonight. Um, so there we are. I'm just going to share. Let everybody know what's happening. Can I Skype? I'm Gogsy from YouTube. Um, no, Gordon, I'm not going to take any more Skypes unless it's somebody that I really know very, very well because I don't want people having to put up with that and I don't want us to have to delete the stream and go to bother just because some uh, little, tiny-minded, immature, little idiot, uh, not you, of course, uh, thinks that, uh, you know, it's funny to see something silly. And, of course, what that person said was so inappropriate that that will be brought to the attention of the uh, authorities and there will be a tap, 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 tap on the door for that one. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Uh, so not nine to one, but if you want to Skype me, El Salvador, you can. What will happen to the guy saying a naughty word on Skype? Uh, well, obviously, big, big trouble for that because of the word he used. So there we are. That's very, very, very deeply, deeply offensive. And, of course, um, it's, uh, it's against uh, laws. 
to come out with that sort of thing in a public platform. So there'll be big trouble there, I can tell you. Uh, there we are. All set for the snow tonight, Scotty. Do you know, Alistair, I was walking the dog earlier, and for the first time within living memory, it was dry, and it was calm, and it was clear, and there was there was no wind for the first time within my, my living memory. But is my memory getting shorter? So there we are. That's what was going on tonight. Right, guys, I'm going to do some sharing. Can every single one of you share, please, and make a note that you will go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, we can do all sorts of cross stuff as time goes on. Uh, I'm just going to share this broadcast right now. Do you prefer the landscape style? Uh, do let me know, I say. Thank you, Scotty. You're the top man yourself, says James Barrett. Um, Willie Drysdale's watching. Kareem's watching. Kareem Zachariah. Think I found you on it. Uh, so there you are. It's your full name, yes. Scotty McClure, YouTube channel. As usual, lol with the cars, there's always something new to talk about. Absolutely. And I noticed there's a YouTube about uh, about Volvos. Fantastic. So there we go. I'm just going to share this, guys. I'm just going to put live now. Um, wonderful stuff. There. I won't give that guy's name out, but I have his name and uh, all sorts of details and, uh, you know, if he thinks that that name might be a cover for something else, then he can forget that. I'll tell you that right now. So there we go. And uh, who have we got here? Live now. There we are. We have a duty on public platforms. We're guests in people's houses. And, uh, you know, it's uh, not funny, big or clever to say something as inappropriate as that. There you are. That's what's happening there. Uh, live now, uh, join us. What I'm doing, guys, I'm just sharing and sharing and sharing on the main Scotty McClue pages. If you can all share as well, fantastic stuff. I was at the Webster Theatre on Great Western Road for the new album from Katie Cross. Amazing night from a new Scottish superstar in the making. How fantastic, James. Good for you. You're still doing your wonderful uh, agent stuff and your promotional stuff. We like it. Uh, Mr. McClure, uh, may I private message you um, Jamie's podcast in case you feel it's worth a special guest type show? Yes, what I love about this sort of broadcasting, we are being watched all over the world. All right. There's people in India, Africa, Canada, America watching right now. So it's huge. So once we start tying up and getting a focus, my focus used to be purely on phone calls and discussing, you know, stuff sometimes a little bit controversial. But, you know, that just adds a little bit of spice. We used to do that. And I was hearing that Buckingham Palace is being done up. And, I, of course, you get the dafties on going, well, I hope the Queen's going to pay for it. You know, that sort of stuff. No, 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 no. That's the administrative headquarters for the whole of the United Kingdom. So there we are. Very, very interesting. Poor old Buck House. It cost five grand when it was bought off the Duke of Buckingham. They gave him five grand for it. I think it's got about 460 rooms or something like that. But the Queen has a small flat in it that goes with her job. So there you go. But the rest is all administrative and, of course, a fabulous piece of grade A property right in SW1. So you can't say further than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. But we need to get away from this concept that the royals cost us they don't. It's about 60p a year. All right. But poor old Buckingham Palace, it's only been done up three times in 250 years. I think during the Second World War, or just after the Second World War, they did the front um, and got that sorted out. And then Queen Alexandra did it up when uh, her and uh, King Edward took over after Queen Victoria died in 1901. So there were, and there were small modifications, I think, made 
in the 60s, probably decoration and things like that. But the poor old building needs a bit of work, and it's a fabulous asset, and it's owned by us, the state. So there you go. Have you seen the fox lately? Erica, I haven't seen the fox. It's all gone a bit quiet, fox-wise. But as I say, did you see the vixen in Australia feeding the koala cubs. I think you said you did. Oh, but Federmars, so lovely to see you. The calm before the storm, as they say, Scotty. Oh, Alistair. Uh, why are you not on YouTube tonight? I am on YouTube tonight. I popped up, but just for a couple of minutes to say to join me here on Facebook. All right, because I realized it might not be the best time, people getting ready for school and things like that. Subscribe to your YouTube channel many moons ago, says Neil. I know, Neil, but we've just been a lot more active on it recently, you'll see. Uh, no, Scotty, I mean your Skype is it your full name, Scotty McClue. Sorry, Kareem. Scotty dot McClue. The dot in the middle. Scotty dot McClue. Feel free to Skype and come on. That would be fantastic. Paul Crookshank's watching, dinky do. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Here's Gordon ringing us. Hang on, hang on. Gordon, let me get it sorted for you. And then I shall be with you. There we are. Hello. I'm on YouTube tonight. I popped up, but just Hello, Gordon. Minutes to say to join me here. Hello. Hello, Gordon. How lovely to hear you. And to, and to speak to you after all these years. This is just a wonderful treat. And I hope I don't embarrass you sometimes when I just explain to people what a star you are. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you know, now, Gordon, are you quite happy to do just a little ad hoc interview? Yes, I don't mind. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Now, I always wonder, you were... Scottish Television's original announcer, is that right? That's correct, yes. Well, just a couple of months after the station opened in 19, August 1957, actually started in October 57. How wonderful. And, you know, what was the kind of reception? Because I remember seeing a film of you and you'd gone to, it looked like the Outer Hebrides with a television set and you were explaining to people what was happening with the new commercial television opening up. No, that, that wasn't me. That was Henry Hay, the news reporter who did that. that. I remember you mentioned that to me years ago. That wasn't me. That ah, was Henry Hay. And, and a lot of the locals were running away from him. That, that's right. They were scared of the new television. That's right. <laughs> and I think they thought he was maybe a television salesman as well. That's correct, yes. <laughs> I thought that was you, Gordon. You must remember me. And um, who else were your colleagues at the time, Gordon? Well, the first one was, of course, Jack Webster. He was the first announcer and newsreader on STV. Ray Purdy, who was the director of programmes, brought him over from Canada, and he was the first director of program, the first newscaster. And what happened was I started, I auditioned before STV went on air, in 1957, I had the audition in Mary Hill Town Hall, I remember. I wasn't taken on, but then two months after the station went on air in October, they phoned me up and asked if I'd like to be, still be an announcer. I jumped to the chance and went in and sat in, and they left me on my own with the transmission controller after about two hours. So I was taken on then for about six months. But then Ray Purdy, the director of programmes, about six months later, thought I was too young to be the voice of Scotland. <laughs> so I was, I was put off for about a year or two. Then Francis Essex had taken over then. So I got back in as the summer relief announcer and then taken on full time, which I did for about 10 years before becoming a transmission controller for about 19 years. And, <laughs> and I, well remember, I well remember you being with us, Scotty, and announcing a new really. I remember on a couple of occasions, STV used to close down about midnight. I remember running you home to your flat in the West End on a couple of occasions. That's right, so yes. You very kindly gave me a lift because, um, you know, I said I would just walk it, and I think you thought that wasn't the best idea. A young man yeah, wearing, yeah. wearing his suit walking along yeah. through the cow cadence. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> How fantastic, Gordon. It's an absolute privilege to hear you. Now, Ray Pardy was uh, a Canadian, as was uh, Roy Thompson, Lord Thompson, that set up Scottish television. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Yes, yes. so there was uh -huh. quite a connection with Canada. 
There was at the beginning, yes, yes. Yes, and Lord Thompson would quite often ring the control room and say, get some commercials on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, those, in those days, of course, the, the other announcers were Raymond Boyd, Michael O'Halloran, Elaine Wells, and Bill Simpson, Dr. Finlay. Yes, <laughs> Bill Simpson. How fabulous, yes, because I can remember Bill Simpson coming on stage and there was thunderous applause. And That's correct. Yeah. I, I couldn't quite work out. I knew he'd been in Dr. Finlay as well, so obviously it was very big. But I think a lot of people would remember him from Scottish television. That's right, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. absolute thunderous applause at the time, wonderful stuff. And I can remember a landlady in the West End when we were training as uh, drama students, and she would say, I remember when Bill Simpson used to live here as a student. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And Gordon, you then went on to transmission controlling, of course, a very responsible job, um, running the whole network to the second. That's correct, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. I don't think people realise that ITV went on air not just about 25 past nine in the morning, but at 9.25 double O. That's correct, yes. Yes, yes and yes. then everything during the day ran to the second. The network yes. kept together with a red phone, which the transmission mm -hmm. controller had to uh, respond to and sort out all the 15 ITV companies. Was that right? Well, that's correct. Now, remember, after being an assistant transmission controller for a few years, I moved over to become a transmission controller. And the announcer that night was Dave, Dave Marshall, and that was the night that the... SAS raided the Iranian embassy to free the hostages. Oh my so just goodness. at the end of, end of Coronation Street at 7.30, we just had to throw the routine sheet out into the bin. The whole night, it was just live, with trying to get the, the, the SAS releasing the hostages. So we had to try and uh, transmit all the commercials as well. But uh, that was a... So we turned into the deep end of my first night as a, as a senior oh, controller. So. My goodness, yes. Now the thing is, there are there's terrific pressures put on somebody in that position to get everything together because you're coordinating the whole network for that region. That's correct. Yes. So you, uh, there must That's have been times when you, um, you know, did very professional things that uh, that made the viewer think everything was absolutely fine when uh, right. you know you were paddling away beneath behind the scenes. <laughs> yes. Well, of course, when we were doing local programming, that was that was quite good. But when we were, when we were networking Taggart, for example, to the whole country, you had to just. Make sure that the commercial break, you started the next part at, at, at an exact second. It was a bit, a bit nerve-wracking because you're actually transmitting to the whole, the whole network rather than just central Scotland. So. Yes, yes. And things, of course, are now on uh, film, Gordon. Uh, sorry, are now on files, uh, you know, little computer files. But in those days, yeah. you were actually running cans of film. So it was effectively the cinema within the television station. That's correct, yes, yes. And you and after that, we've got videotapes after that. And then the, the commercials, we used to have to preview all the commercials for the day in the morning before they went out. We got the routine sheet with the list of all the commercials in each break. So we had to preview these in the preview theater in the morning before transmitting. And then, of course, they transferred on to separate cassettes, video cassettes, each commercial, which made it much easier. If you lost a commercial with some problem, you could reinsert it. Because it was just a, a, a video cassette, that was much easier to, to reinsert. So. Yes, yes, because I can remember these great big sort of um, electromechanical pneumatic machines that ran the brakes. That's correct, yes. Wonderful yeah. stuff. Gordon, thank you so much. Um, perhaps we can have a little feature from time to time, if you don't mind. Because uh, yes, there's, so, there's so much to ask you, and I'm very, very grateful to you for coming on. No, it's a great pleasure, Scott. It's great to speak to you after all these years. Yes, it's lovely. <laughs> and thank you for all your support over the piece with the live streams. That's a pleasure. <laughs> Tremendous. Thanks, God, and bless you. We'll speak to you soon, then. We, we, we will. We'll say goodnight, sir. <laughs>
<laughs> Good night and God bless. <laughs> there we are. The wonderful Gordon Roddick there, guys, um, who a lot of you will remember. Um, one of the first announcers on Scottish television and then a long career as um, a transmission controller. Everything that you saw happening on television, um, Gordon was one of the people who made that happen behind the scenes. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that. So there we go. And, um, no, I can't, I can't take that, so there we go. Unfortunately, I can't take that, Gogs, but there we go, because I don't know you, and we can't take any risks. Um, you know, I do apologise, but there we are. Right, um, more and more. My screen keeps freezing. Don't know what the internet is all, but is anyone else experiencing difficulties? So there we are. So much going on here and uh, so little time to do it. Guys, can we just take a second to check the housekeeping and things? Can everybody share, 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 share? Let me catch up because we had a lovely chat with Gordon. We have a YouTube video, Scotty, when we did the world record attempts, 1,578 Volvos on one road. Wow. There will be a new Volvo 600 record attempt this year. Dinky Doo Scotty, good evening to you, says Paul Crookshanks. Robert T. Kerr, realistically, is the taxpayer who fits the bill. Yeah, but I mean, we don't mind that because it's adding to the asset value, Robert. So there's no problem with that. I mean, the billions and billions that were squandered on Brexit, they're talking about HS2 now, you know, another uh, 100 billion or 200 billion there. All that money could bring you the Scotty McClure show on the BBC. Mark Jippert's watching, Peter Boy, Dinky Doo, Stephen Mooney's watching. Hello from Texas in the USA, says Albert Castaneda. Have I said that right, Albert? Albert Castaneda from America. Whereabouts? Texas in the USA. Fantastic. Alex Robertson, Dinky Doo, Marion McKnight's watching. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says Alex Robertson. Andrew Clark's watching. Jonathan Welch, Dinky Do. Ben Lucas, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And um, we're just popping up to say hi to every one of you. Can we uh, get sharing and sharing and sharing? Fantastic. I'll just do a bit more sharing and we'll see what's what. People are saying that the screen's been freezing. Is that right? I'll share it and see if that weakens everything up again. This has been shared on the timeline. Fantastic stuff. And um, I'll also share to some of the groups um, can I Skype? I'm Gogsy. I know Gogsy, but I don't know you, and uh, I can't take the risk after what that guy said. As I say, it's a shame. Connections poor, Scotty. It keeps cutting off. Ah, there we are. That's very strange, isn't it? We don't want that. Um, so there we are. Sharing to the story. Let everybody know that we're up here, of course. And uh, we'll see what's happening. So the stream should be all right. Can everybody see and hear me? Uh, James O'Brien's watching. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Welcome, James. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Scotty McClure bobbing up just for you. Doing lots of wonderful shares here. We're streaming tonight in Landscape. I hope that's okay. Everything back with you folks. Uh, no problem at all with that. There we go. Um, what have we got here? Whoa, some very interesting things for sharing here, I can tell you. Right, we're just getting that uh, sorted out. If all of you can share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClure and we're broadcasting live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Do. So sending that out there and I'll just put live now, live now. Join us. Wonderful. Live now, join us. And that's gone out on the Scotty McClure pages. Um, it's uh, the HS2 Scotty. Scotland never went forward with the connection to Glasgow International Airport, but London has rail and tubes. Why the heck not? Michael Paul McVeigh, very, very good question. There we are. The problem is Scotland is not in charge. Certain things are devolved, but it's not in charge of its budget. We're still restrained and restricted by the Barnet formula. So Westminster takes all Scotland's income and gives us back our beer money. 
you know? No tea tonight, Scotty, says Alistair King. Have you not had your tea, Alistair King? You need to have your tea, chum. Absolutely, you must keep your strength up. You've got lots of things to do. You know, particularly over the next couple of weeks, I say, thank you very much for all the thumbs up on here. I wish I could do that as well. So wonderful. Send them back to you. Yeah, for some reason, I'm just going to see if I can make sure that things are freed up. So there we are. So Alistair, you should not be short of your tea. Um, do we like the portrait? Can I have some feedback on it? Is it better? Uh, the landscape, is it better than the portrait? Give me some feedback on that and let me know what's what. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, just doing a bit of sharing here, of course, letting everybody know what's what. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that would be fantastic. Fantastic. Well, there it goes. Excellent stuff. Yeah, yes, there might be a little bit of freezing tonight just uh, because we've got a fair old turnout. Not yet long in from the garage. Now you need to get warm and put your feet up. Do you wear the dungarees or the big overalls? Excellent stuff. Always remember um, a friend of mine, his father was a tanker skipper for one of the big oil companies. And he was painting the house and he had these beautiful white, overalls with the oil company logo on it and I said to him I love your overalls and um, he just came back and gave me a, a set and I wore them for years when I worked on my cars as a youngster uh, so there we go it's better says Brian is that better Brian has that freed it up a little bit and given us something of a chance there we go and uh, we've got the squeeze box so we'll get a tune for you excellent stuff overalls and a bonnet says Alistair good is that a Scotty McClure bonnet so there we are uh, have a good one says Michael thank you do Michael thank you very much for that so there we are. Wonderful. Nice to have you here. And um, do, of course, uh, get in touch, guys, and share the broadcast. Thank you for putting up. I know you get bombarded with stuff from Scotty McClure, but just send it on. Call twice, Scotty. No success. Oh, I'll tell you why. Call now, Kareem, and let's hear from you. So there you are. We're waiting for you. It's excellent, and I've accepted you. So you can call now, and you will get through. Did you watch the Furies versus Wilder fight? Um, no, Gordon, I don't watch the boxing, actually. It's a little bit violent for me. So there you go. Uh, so try to be... Uh -huh. Oh, that's Gordon. I can't take a call from Gordon. I could take one from Kareem, because uh, we know Kareem of old. That would be fantastic. So there we are. So... um. You know, if you want to uh, give us a call. So there we are. There's Kareem calling now. Hello, Kareem. Hello, Scotty. How are we? Excellent. <laughs> We're better for hearing you. The Skype is a wonderful, wonderful idea. But we've got a couple of wee idiots that, uh, you know, just are uh, have spoiled it for the whole world. I think in any media platform or social media, you're always going to think. Yes. Yes, you're going to get that. So I'm going to see if I can get a profanity device. I mean, there's a guy desperate to speak to me, a young guy, and he says he can be trusted, and I'm sure he can, but yes. I can't take that risk. Yes. No. You know, and, and the guy earlier, uh, you know, I mean, he'll be getting a knock on the door from the authorities, I would think. Absolutely, hopefully. So, no, Scotty, this is really funny. It just feels like I'm calling you on, on the radio. Well, I know, just like when we were back on the radio. Well, this is why it's so fabulous. So I think what I'll do, Kareem, I'll build up a trusted list and put top mm -hmm. people like yourself, Gordon Roddick from Scottish Television. I hope people found that interesting. I certainly did. You know? Yes, I did. And, and, and could you hear them fine? Perfect. Everything's been very clear. Good, good. So we are on to something with the call screen. There's no doubt about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I think it's a great idea. Again, trust people. And that means the, the numpties don't get on. Or they they don't get on. They'll just get blocked and uh, we won't have it. But it's great to have people like yourself on because I know the potential of this program is huge. Absolutely. You know, yes. and the potential of the YouTube program is huge, so please feel free to come and join us there as well, Kareem. 
Absolutely. I need to, I need to go on my account. It's been a while, but I'll definitely do that. Yes, yes. <laughs> and subscribe and tap the bell and you'll get the notifications. Now then, what do you think's happening these days? Give us a wee, uh, a wee check-in, a wee rain check, because it's a wee while since you and I have spoken live. Hello? Have we lost Kareem? Ah, hello Kareem. Hello Kareem. Hello Kareem. Right, we seem to have lost Kareem. Never mind, you'll maybe call us back and we'll get a quick chat. Wonderful stuff, here we go. Hello Kareem, sorry, lost the connection there. So, Scotty, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You're clear as a bell, uh, as far as I'm concerned. It's fantastic, and it really is very uplifting to be back with the phone in. It's absolutely. I, I miss it. I completely do. I really miss, uh, miss the phone. It's, it's I think that. everybody yeah. does. I mean, I don't think love songs are everybody's cup of tea on a radio station, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear about the radio, you know, I think it's just something that people on the radio. Yeah. Now, Kareem, uh, sorry, I was losing you a little bit there. Um, do tell me what's been happening. Do you like the landscape um, broadcasts? Yes, I see you clearly. I can see you clearly. Uh, yeah, yes, the other one. Fine. It's just, it's just apparently what uh, one of my expert advisors said last night. He said a lot of people are now watching you on their televisions. So I was quite chuffed with that. <laughs> you know, I thought, this is huge. And he said, no, no. I said, why are they watching Scotty McLean when they've got all these very polished programs on? He said, because you're interesting. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I and because it's PC. live. I've had a PC screen to start. I'm watching to start, yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm losing you. You're going a wee bit off mic, I think. Right. Um, listen, Scotty, I'll let you know on the show, but I will definitely call back again when you're going to Skype uh, another night and then go to have a game. Yes, and we'll get a discussion going. I'll have a question for you, Mike, when I phone on. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Because now we've got the Skype. We can have a bit of argy-bargy with the stuff. I feel this is so much better than just being a keyboard warrior. Absolutely. I think there's more of a connection to see you. Talk everyone. Wonderful. Kareem, bless you. Good night and have a lovely week. Thank you. Have a good week, Scotty. Bye now. Talk Bye. Then. Bye bye now. So there we are. That's our Kareem. That was excellent. So there we go. I'm just going to give him five stars um, as a vote there. That was absolutely outstanding. And thank you very much. What was your favourite radio station to work for, says the wonderful Brian Hall, or oh, they've all been superb, Brian. Um, there's going to be a reunion because apparently the company that owned the church that was converted for Red Rose Radio, um, so I think the church is going now, and there's to be a reunion. I'm not going to make it, sadly. And there's one or two people who are no longer with us on the earth, earth side, but they're with us uh, up above. Um, you know, and it's it's fantastic. That was a wonderful building to work in. Superb managing director, guy called Mike Henfield. You'll probably see him on social media here. And uh, just an absolute top gent. And all my colleagues, wonderful people, Derek Webster, uh, Rod Hardesty, Ian Calvert, Dave Shearer, John Gilmore, um, you know, Pat, all these fabulous people on Red Rose Radio in the early 90s. Psst, psst, I don't have a TV, but I do have a projector giving me a nice 15-foot screen. The question is, do I need a TV license to watch you live? No, Douglas McPherson. Um, I don't think you need a TV license to watch uh, your projector on YouTube. So there we are. I don't think that's anything to do with television companies. Calvin Allen's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. <coughs> so there we are. Um, pity you don't have a taser app for the BAMs. They need a zap. <laughs> this is Albert. Excellent stuff. No, we're not into that, Albert, but I know um, what you mean. It is very out of order. But the person um, that did phone earlier, uh, the terminology had crossed a red line big style. So, uh, you know, he'll be hearing more about that, I can tell you. So there we are. And uh, whatever 
sort of um, alias or whatever he's using, that'll all just get stripped back right to the person themselves that came on and said the words. And, uh, you know, there'll be, a, there'll, there'll be a big problem with that for them. So there you are. And quite right, too, you know, I mean, absolutely unacceptable. And, of course, we had to scrap the whole stream, uh, which we did. And I was getting compliments for the speed of recovery. And there we are. Shamsu Raymond Katak. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Scotty McClue popping up live on uh, Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And we are streaming, of course, in landscape tonight as opposed to portrait. Wonderful. Now, I'm just getting a bit anxious about the time. I ah, know we're all right. So we've got another five minutes, guys. You live, big man. Paul Mack, of course I'm live. So here we are. I'm absolutely 100% live. And dinky-doo, I say to every one of you, a little bit of housekeeping while you're all on, guys, if I may. Um... Can you set Scotty McClure up as a skill on your Alexa and store me in your routines so that you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure, right? I'd love some of you to try that. There's Craig Walker saying, hello, Scotty. Hi, Craig, dinky do. Uh, so there we are. So set Scotty McClure up as a skill on your smart speakers, on your Alexa, and uh, we'll be able to shout, Alexa, Play Scotty McClue and then store me in your routines. Excellent. Is that a Pegasus statue at your back? It is, Charles. My father was in the Paras and uh, he was a Pegasus. Dropped into Nijmegen, dropped into Norway. All these sort of things. Poor loves them. are just young. Scotty, um, Google the Croydon principle explains how we are being cheated financially. The Westminster top of the Barnet formula. Well, of course... Our wonderful, wonderful, most trusted economist, right up there at the top, um, Gavin Macron, did the Macron report and was it 1975? And that's worth a read as well. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, get on YouTube after. I've missed your episode. Well, Paul Mack, it's on YouTube. You can see it. It's popped up there. And you can see it was just a minute or two um, because I wanted to let everybody know we were live on Facebook. My father was a para as well. Scotty says Alistair King. I know, tough game for them. Jumping out of aircraft, going on horse gliders. So these things just tacked up. Um, to take all the paras into Operation Market Garden. A Bridge Too Far, the movie A Bridge Too Far. Uh, back on YouTube for car chat like last night. That was cracking, says Paul Mack. Yes, everybody seemed to have enjoyed it, Paul. Uh, my grandfather was a desert rat, says Charles McLaughlin. Very, very tough gig, that Charles, of course, as you well know. This has been a wonderful broadcast tonight. It really has. Fantastic live stream, guys. And uh, I do apologize for the idiot at the start. And, of course, we lost uh, the first few minutes of the stream. But um, they'll be getting their full comeuppance for that. Uh, that will get the authorities will strip back any aliases and they'll have exactly who that was. And um, it'll be rat -ta -tat -tat for that one. Uh, are we getting the Who Am I competition? Agnes knows the answer. Yes, but you have to ask me questions. So type in a question, Gordon Roddick. All right? The first one, uh, Gordon, sorry, not Gordon Roddick. The wonderful Gordon Roddick for us to be. Gordon Sterling. There we are, all these wonderful Gordons. My Alexa doesn't work when I ask, says Brian Hall. Okay, Brian, perhaps you've got to, um, you know, get me in there as a skill. Scotty McClure is a skill, and they uh, link it to the YouTube channel or to Facebook Live, and uh, then store it in your routines, and you'll be able to say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure, uh, you know, and then you can get something, because what's happening, particularly with the YouTube channel, is people are just using it as television and radio, they're putting it on, and working away in the kitchen, or working away in the garage, or ironing, or, uh, you know, doing whatever they're doing, you know, um, doing a bit of vacuuming, that sort of stuff, and they've got Scotty McClure on. Um, who was the guy came on and was Rude's name? So there we are. Uh, well, I've got the name. I won't mention the name on here because that will be getting examined. So there you are. <clears throat> uh, Gordon Sterling, is he a member of the royal family? No, I'm not a member of the royal family. You could ask my gender. That's the first thing. 
And you can ask if I'm alive or dead, all these sort of questions. So let's have some questions from everybody to see if we can find out who am I, all right? <laughs> Excellent stuff. There we go. Who am I? See if you can find that out. All right. So I'll have some questions. I'll take questions from the public right now. So there we go. Gordon Sterling. Um, does he go to Pizza Land and Woking? No. Gordon Sterling, to my knowledge, no. Um, because that would be started a long time after I had actually passed away. There you are. I've given you a clue. I'm dead. All right. Angela Riley's watching. Thank you, Angela. Welcome, welcome. We're here for the... We'll ring the bell. Bridge to engine room. Full of stern both. Full of stern. There we go. Absolutely. And... Slow ahead, please. Starboard. There we go. Are you a man? No, Charles, I'm not a man. I'm a lady. Good question. So there you are. So I'm a lady and I'm dead. Excellent. I'm a lady and I'm dead. So that narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? So there we are. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. We're live streaming live on Facebook Live just for you and for the world. Uh, no such thing as gender now, Scotty. Got to be politically correct. It's gender neutral. There are right, I'm gender neutral. And there we are. But I'm fluid on the female side. I identify as a female. What about that? Uh, please explain to people asking if you're live that it says live at the top left of the screen. If it does not display live, then it's not. Neil O'Gormley, what a top man you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, is it Margaret Thatcher, says Gordon? No, earlier than Margaret Thatcher. I'll give you a clue. I'm a writer. So I'm a writer, I'm female, and I'm dead. There, you're making me, you're making me face up now. Wonderful stuff. Uh, we've got, uh, are you Mrs. Thatcher? Were you a politician, says Albert? No, 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 I'm getting questions here live on the stream. Fantastic. So it's not Margaret Thatcher. Did you used to be a man? No, I was never a man. So there you are. So uh, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not that. Uh, so excellent stuff. Are you a film star? No, uh, I'm a writer. I'm female. I'm dead, and I was around before movies. Florence Nightingale, excellent, excellent choice, Michael Paul McVeigh. Uh, are you Enid Blyton, says God is telling, no, I'm not Enid Blyton. So I'm a female writer, yes. Go back a little bit further. Mary Shelley, I'm not Mary Shelley, Patrick Lynn, but good guess, excellent stuff. Guys, can everybody share while we're up? Can we all just share? Uh, let's just share. We forget about the sharing sometimes. People are thinking, oh, I wish I'd known that was on. I'd have watched that, you know. So big share. Excellent stuff. So, no, I'm not uh, I'm not Mary Shelley. Are you Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, I'm, I'm a lady and I'm dead, Paul Mack. You're not listening. And I'm a writer. So I'm a lady and I'm dead and I'm a writer or I identify as a female and I'm a writer, and I am dead. And I have brought tremendous entertainment to people over the years. No, we've had Enid Blight and Michael Paul McVeigh. Somebody actually guessed that. What era, Scotty? Going back a good bit, Alistair. So there we are. I could probably knock almost 200 years off today. Hi, big Scotty boy. It's been a long time, mate. Hope you're well, big guns. It's Morris McCardle. Dinky do. El Salvador says, wow. Fantastic, El Salvador. And we have some good Skyping tonight. So wonderful. Thank you very much to uh, the wonderful Gordon Roddick and Karim Zachariah for Skyping in tonight. So interesting to hear Gordon after all these years, and of course, fascinating about uh, Scottish television, the local ITV company for Central Scotland. So there we are. Tremendous, tremendous. Right, any more guesses? Because we're going to have to go soon. In fact, I think we're just about out of time. Um, 
Back now, mate. Mr. Lot, Meds, etc. El Salvador, don't you worry about that. Lovely to hear from you. So there we are. Any more guesses? And we'll continue it next week. Who am I? So I'm female. I'm a writer. And I'm dead. There we are. And I go back a long time. We could probably not... Uh, Get some daffodils behind you when spring finally pops up, says Paul Mac. Yes, that might be a while, Paul, till spring pops up. Um, Gordon Stilling says, Jane Otten. No, I'm not Jane Otten, but I am Jane Austen. Woo! Gordon Stilling. Full of stern, full of stern. Full ahead, both. Bridge to engine room. Fantastic. Jane Austen. Well done. Charles McLaughlin got it as well. I am Jane Austen. How fantastic. Woo! You guys are amazing. That was brilliant. Yes. I am Jane Austen. Who am I? <laughs> fantastic stuff. You guys are amazing. So give us lots of thumbs up. Lots of hearts. Lots of dinky do. Well done. So who did we have there with Gordon Sterling? And Charles McLaughlin. Charles isn't technically correct because he's got Jane Austen, whoever that is. Uh, so how's life been treating you, big man, says Morris Carroll. Fantastic, Morris. Um, Joyce Carroll, dinky-doo, lovely, lovely, lovely to have you on here, of course. And welcome, welcome, welcome to all you fantastic people. So Jane Austen, um, her cars were superb. I loved uh, I loved the old, old Austens. Amy Bronte. <laughs> I didn't have a clue, says Alistair King. Well, there we are. We gave you a clue, so you had three clues, Alistair. Scott McKay has joined us. Thank you, dear Scott. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McCoo popping up live. The prize is a slot shared with you next week, says Paul Mack. Absolutely. Uh, Gordon says, can I please Skype even off stream, Scotty? Um, I can't, Gordon. No, 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 I can't. Um, but I will build up my trusted list and we'll see how things go as time goes on. But what happened tonight was actually so severe, um, you know, that it's caused a huge stushy. And that obviously has uh, all been reported to the appropriate authorities. That identity will be stripped back. And, um, you know, that person might find they've lost their social media as well, or their access to social media. It's quite uh, quite serious stuff, I can tell you. But um, apparently we recovered well. So wonderful. So there we go. And um, if you've just joined us, of course, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McCrew. What a fantastic night. Have you enjoyed tonight, guys? Do you like the, the landscape streaming? That's the first thing. So I did a face up noise there. I only read Haynes manuals, not books. If it was a car, I'd have got it. Well, we might be, I might be a car next time, Alistair. So there you are. Woohoo! What happened? What happened, Paul, was oh, earlier we had to um, destroy a whole broadcast because uh, an idiot came on. Uh, a young idiot and said an absolutely banned word. So there you are. Shocking, shocking, shocking. So we just had to destroy the broadcast. What did I miss, the Scott McKay? Lots. How are you able to get the guy's details, Scotty? Because what happens, I have access to different things to what you've got access to. And uh, we'd strip back the identity that's being used and find out exactly who it is. So there you are. So there'll be quite a bit of forensic work. We'll be going into that. And uh, don't be surprised if that guy gets a on the door for that one. So there we go. I agree, says Alistair King. Absolutely. So what we'll do, Alistair, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll maybe be a car next time for Who Am I? That's a promise. Guys, I know there's lots of you watching, but I'm going to have to dash. Some people are a waste of fresh air, Scotty. A waste of skin, Craig. You know, but what was said was deeply, deeply, deeply offensive uh, to people in the world. Loved everything about the show except the idiot. So Charles McLaughlin, well, the idiot's gone. Uh, smart plays, Scotty lads, says Cameron. Cameron Millard, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. 
and uh, all is well. IP address tracking systems, so there we are. Scotty will batter the door down. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's very, very easy, actually, and you can strip away any aliases, and then you see who it is. And sometimes, what I had, I had a woman who set up uh, a fake account on Facebook, and within minutes I knew exactly who it was, and um, she herself was, uh, you know, very, very deeply offensive about me. Um, you know, I was old and all this sort of stuff, and um, I'd had it and all that kind of idea. Anyway, we had a look at this, and this was a woman that was coming on nice as ninepence on our Facebook page. Hi, Scotty, how are you? How are you getting on with the dog and blah, blah, blah. And uh, as I say, within minutes, we had our exact identity, and I was shocked. So there you are. And um, she was part of the reason that uh, there was a problem with the radio station as well. She put in a complaint. Uh, so there we are. Uh, good night, McClure. Good night, Gordon. Thank you, dear. Catch you next time. Get a chat, mate, says Morris. Absolutely. Have a fabulous week, guys. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of it all, then au revoir and a cheery o. Nine o'clock live pop ups Sunday night. There might be random during the week. Set your notifications, and until then, from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you right across the world. Dinky doo.